So today, we're going to be using heroes that got buffed in this balance update, and those four heroes are going to be using is the Robot, Gargoyle, Phoenix, and the Frog Mystic. Hopefully, these changes are more than enough to be able to compete with everybody that's using meta decks with Thunderpaws. Let's see how well with these buffed heroes can do. My name is 2Mike, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. All righty. And we're going to be talking about, of course, the changes that these four heroes got. I'm just, I don't have my notes on me. Actually, actually, my, I got my notes over here. Um, so, the robot that goes first. So, the robot got an attack and ability buff. Um, yeah, pretty much. So, the robot now deals in, uh, 57 damage and bomb damage instead of 53. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. The robot definitely needs some love for a long time, and he finally got some love. We're actually going to push the gargoyle this way, so that way he can use his ability damage as well. There we go. But yeah, the robot, that's a pretty good buff. He definitely needed some love, for sure. We can all agree that he definitely needed some love. The gargoyle, when he first came out, I like I said before, I thought he was a he's going to be a, straight, a pretty strong hero, and I was sadly mistaken. Nobody was using him. Nobody at all. So with this buff, he only got a you know an ability an ability um, buff. So he can now deal damage and heal uh, plus two than he used to do before. So he used to do fourteen. Now he does sixteen. So it it can add up, of course, if you make contact with the gargoyle multiple multiple, multiple times. Oh, he just took out the phoenix. Let's do this. All right. So we should be able to multi uh, multi hit the. Phoenix Egg, hopefully. Um, so, and now with the Frog Mystic, the Frog Mystic um, ability got buffed, so he now heals um, 45 instead of, I don't even remember, let me see the, the list right here, instead of 38. So that's, you know, 7 times 3 because there's 3 bugs. That's 21 if you can get all 3 eggs, which, hey! Definitely good, and oh my goodness, look at that damage that the Phoenix did to all heroes, the Sentinel, um, Sorceress, and the Giant right there. That was beautiful. Beautiful! I might have to just take out the Sorceress, so that way she doesn't enchant any of us. And of course, we're going to be able to heal up the Gargoyle a little bit more. There you go, we took out, we definitely took out the Sorceress right there, and plus 80 to the Sentinel right there. Healing up my ourselves as well. That was five collision hits. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You can now deal 80 um, for five collisions instead of 70. Definitely, definitely good. We're also going to... Ju we'll just take out the Sentinel here. And, of course, the bomb will deal a little bit of damage to the Giant right there. So we'll take it. Plus 45 because of those bugs. Perfect. We should definitely win this first match right here. And of course, we're going to be talking about the Phoenix. The Phoenix got a damage and, of course, ability buff. Now the Phoenix does 85 instead of 80, making him the, one of the top four highest damaging units in the game. Which he definitely needed, of course. Wow, look at the heals that we <laughs> made the Gargoyle get. That's crazy. And of course, his ability... He now spawns with 119 explosive damage, of course, instead of 111. A little bit of a change right there, but it's definitely a good change, especially if you can get multiple heroes in one location when you use that um, explosion. And as you can see there, we beat what it used to be the best deck in the game. Now, can we compete with Thunderpaws? That is the ultimate question. Let's see if this person is using a deck with Thunderpaws. He is! The Wraith and the Champion got a nerf here, so perfect. Um, sadly, I could play around with the Gargoyle, but it's not going to be able to do too much. So let's just, I guess we'll double hit the Thunderpaws right there. Okay, double hitting the Sentinel, that's good. And of course, the Thunderpaws is hugging the wall, so that way he cannot get lots of charges, thankfully. He can probably get one now. Oh no, his speed, his speed is still quite good. His speed is still quite good. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than that. Let's see if we can push the Gargoyle towards the Wraith. Let's see. Oh, no, that was bad. That was bad. We still did damage to everybody. We still did damage to everybody. I just thought we are going to be able to push up the Gargoyle towards uh, 
towards my opponent's heroes. Okay, so now this is where we're going to be able to use the Gargoyle's ability. And look at those bombs just placed up there. That should deal a whole lot of damage to those two up there. Even the Wraith. Let's see if we can also push the champion up there. Ah, uh, Sally, we don't. But we're also going to heal up the Gargoyle right there. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know my voice. I don't know why my voice is getting cracked right there. I hit puberty before, guys. <laughs> Trust me, I hit puberty before. Let's actually hit the Gargoyle towards the Sentinel. And hopefully that should be in range to take out Thunderpaws. It was! Let's go! Thunderpaws is dead. Um, the Wraith does go next. He might just play around with the um, the Sentinel might as well. He'll take out the Robot and the Phoenix. Not the Phoenix, the, um, the Frogmastic. Why? Sometimes whenever, whenever the Robot gets contact with the Wraith, the bombs doesn't, doesn't go off. So why does that happen sometimes? It just happens sometimes, not all the time. Um, let's let's just do this. Hopefully, we can make the gargoyle heal up a bit. Yes, that should be a heal right there. Perfect. Gargoyle is back up to full health. Champion and the wraith um, only left. The gargoyle is an amazing last man unit. But let's see if we can manage to beat these heroes right here. Ooh, lots of damage from uh to the gargoyle right there. How much health does the wraith have? 268. This should deal damage to the wraith as well. There you go. And sadly, we were not able to heal up the gargoyle as much, but the troops are separated. Gargoyle has 149. He can tank two hits. Yeah, he can tank two hits, but not three, unless the fire damage will take him out. <gasps> he missed the fire. What? He missed the fire. The Phoenix cannot survive the attack, so I have to I have to separate my units here. So let's do this. Um alright, they're kinda separated. It's not gonna be able to be an easy feat for him to actually do it unless he gets a, a very perfect wall bounce here. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Hopefully he doesn't pull it off. Um that might miss. Let's see. And no, he got it. Okay. Man, I should have separated them more. That was a big mistake, I guess, for not separating too much. I just couldn't multi-hit, you know, the Wraith right there. And sadly, you know, the Gargoyle was, did not end up near the Wraith in order to heal himself up. But don't worry, it's all good. One win, one loss, not terrible. Let's see if we can go a little bit farther than that. Thunderpaws goes first. He is definitely going to hit the Scarecrow plus the Wraith, I believe. Or just double hit the Scarecrow. Or, oh, okay, he hit, he actually hit the Champion. That's fine. Um, We could, you know, give a defensive buff to the Gargoyle here. Hopefully, we can make that contact. Yes, we were. And, ooh, 32 to 3 units. Perfect. Wait a second. How did that not... I thought, oh, the robot got the buff. I thought the gargoyle was going to get the buff and I completely missed. Ouch. Okay, thankfully the robot, you know, did get a pretty, a, a nice defensive buff there just to stay alive. Let's see if we can, you know, try to take out the Thunderpaws here while healing up the gargoyle. No, we did not heal up the gargoyle. Healing up the robot. Hey, that's perfect that the robot has a defensive buff. He can place more bombs now, which is good. Of course, he is just playing around with the Wraith. Look at that. That's a triple kill. There was no way I was going to be able to win that. Triple kill. Actually, we can revive the, the Phoenix right here. There you go. And the Phoenix does a little bit of damage right there. Perfect. Um, Let's see what he does here. He's going to play around with the Scarecrow. The Scarecrow is going to deal damage to the robot there. 52 times, yeah, 4. There was no way. Yep, good game. I'm just going to surrender because there's just no... The Phoenix is definitely not going to win this one. There's just no way. It was a good attempt, but he just demolished me right there. He definitely demolished me right there. Let's see. I would like to get three or four wins with this deck because right now it's very tough. No Thunder Paws here, which I'm actually pretty surprised. With the Robot, we can always push the Gargoyle upwards so that way he can just, you know, deal area damage and whatnot. He is going to push the Banshee towards... Very strange, but okay. Um, actually, we should probably take uh, push the Assassin out of the way. We don't want the Assassin around there. Not bad. Plus, of course, the robot is kind of blocking the 
deter him from making a direct hit towards the assassin. He can still hit the assassin, of course, but I just don't think he's going to be able... Ooh, ooh, wait a second. Ooh, did not like that at all, ladies and gentlemen. I did not like that at all. Let's see if we can revive the gargoyle a lot, hopefully. Yes, yes, yes. 64 times 3 for 192 damage. Or not, under, not uh, damage, health. 192 health. Let's, of course, try to revive the gargoyle again. Let's just do this. Oh, no. We did not heal up the gargoyle, but we did, you know, heal up a little bit on the robot there. Not bad. Okay, the phoenix. Oh, no. The phoenix. Okay, everybody is still alive. That's crazy. Let's see if we can, you know, heal up the gargoyle again here. Hopefully, we can get multiple hits. Okay, we do heal up. Wow, all, three units. We do heal up three units because of the Gargoyle's ability and, of course, the bugs from the Frog Mystic. As you guys know, Frog, Frog Mystic uh, bugs can now heal for 45 instead of 38. And, ooh, I am not liking this at all. I am not liking this at all. Let's see. I think the Dynamites will take, or not the Dynamites, the Bomb will take out the, the Banshee. So let's see if we can double hit the Yeti here and heal up. Oh yes, we should be able to heal up right there. Perfect. Also taking out the Banshee right there because of his seals. Um, this is going to be a very close match. I'm just hoping that the Phoenix does survive this, even though the Phoenix has the lowest health in the entire game. He missed. He missed the uh the hit right there. So this should be a nice little double hit for the win. We missed the Yeti. Oh gosh. Okay. We made steam damage, but we completely missed the Yeti. Okay, we should survive this. We should survive this. And remember, guys, the, the Phoenix does it does now deal 85 damage instead of 80, making him, you know, the top four um, hardest hitting units in the game. I think he surpassed the Archer, which, hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. The Phoenix definitely needed some love right there. And, of course, his ability damage now deals 119 damage instead of 111. So, hey, that spawn can be pretty good if we can keep all units together. Okay. Let's see. We got two wins, two losses. Facing Thunderpaws, of course, with the Wraith and... Uh, Wraith and Calamancer. Let's see if we can... Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to too much now. I don't think we're gonna be able to be able to do too much, you know. Okay, not bad, but look at the the position right there. The race speed did get nerfed, so I don't think it's gonna be able to get more than three hits on the thunder paws. He's actually going downwards first. Okay, there you go, two hits. Okay, not bad. Oh, what? How did he double hit the phoenix right there? That's that's absurd. That is absurd, in my opinion. Let's see if we can revive the Phoenix and, of course, try to make the Phoenix go just use his ability. Or should we just heal up the Gargoyle? I don't know. We'll try to revive the Phoenix. Let's do this. There's a glitch. There is now a glitch. Um, I don't know which units are supposed to be where. Let's see. Let's see because I actually have no clue. The Counter is there. Let's see who is he going to attack. He attacks the robot, I guess, just to make sure. Oh! He missed. Because of the bug, he missed. That is sad. Holy guacamole, that is sad. He missed because of the bug. Let's push the Canamancer to the robot. Hit the Wraith, hopefully. Ooh, double hitting the Wraith. Perfect. Yeah, that was a bad bug right there for him. Because he didn't know where the Catamancer ended up. I don't know why that happens, but it does. Um, he just gets a triple hit on the Thunder Paws right there. Nicely done. Let's... Should we just take out the Wraith? I don't think we're going to be able to take out the Wraith, but we could here. Just healing up the Gargoyle here. And, of course, he's going to deal damage. There you go. Perfect. The Wraith is still alive, though. But we, we should be able to take him out in the next turn, maybe. Um, Gargoyle does go next. He is going to heal up the Thunder Paws. Or not the Gargoyle, the Thunder Paws. Thunder Paws goes next. Um, Okie doke. He just took out the Frog Mystic, so no more bugs for us. 
Let's do this. Just take out the Wraith. Hopefully Gargoyle... Uh, sadly, the Gargoyle was too far um, to heal up. That's fine. Now the Gargoyle goes next, but the Catamancer might be able... The Catamancer is probably going to get two touches for the Thunder Paws. No, he's just going for damage. Okay, 116 plus he got an attack buff. That's not good, obviously. Let's take out that Catamancer, maybe. Yep, there you go. And the Gargoyle is going to heal up. 64 times 3 for 192. But now with the cat there. Ooh, double hits. Not, not good. Not good at all. But the robot did spawn a bomb next to the paladin. So let's just go after the only gargoyle right here. Hopefully we can get two double hits on the thunder paws. Yes, we do. And gargoyle is going to heal up. 64. Just one heal. That's good. Hey, paladin's the only troop left alive. We should be fine here when it comes to winning. Should be fine. Let's see. 91. He should be fine. Yeah, he is still alive there. Let's give the robot an attack buff, I guess. Let's see if we can make the gargoyle heal up. 16. We only did 16 damage to the paladin, but we'll take it. Alright. He should take out the gargoyle, in my opinion. Yep, he just did. That is 8. Okay. And now let's see, I would like to push the Paladin towards the, the map, or not the map, the arena object, but I don't think we're going to be able to pull that off. I just realized that there's... <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long. I just realized that there's bugs on the arena, in the arena, when the Frog Mystic is dead. I just realized that, guys. I don't know why it took me so long. I don't know why it took me so long to realize that, <laughs> but that is because of the Phoenix bug. I don't know why that happens sometimes because we, I'm pretty sure we have revived the Phoenix before. It hasn't happened like, like that, so why does that happen sometimes? Whenever you revive the Phoenix, you know, the game lags and some troops are in wrong places. And of course, if there's any, you know, arena objects or anything on the map that shouldn't be there, that is still there. Because of the, you know, the hero's ability. It, I don't know. It's just crazy. He'll get four hits on the freaking Thunder Paw. So, of course, that's going to hurt a lot. We can always heal up the robot here. And the Gargoyle. Oh, yes. Perfect. There you go. Gargoyle is back up to full health. Healing up everybody as well because of the bug's placements. He's going to push Thunder Paws towards the Wraith. Hopefully he doesn't get more hits. Nope. Okay. The Phoenix just died. We can always revive the Phoenix. But in this case, I think we should just play around the Gargoyle's ability. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. There should be a lot of damage. There you go. 80. 80 to the Scarecrow and Champion right there. Perfect. Champion also got a nerf. So hopefully Champion doesn't do too much. Phoenix, of course, still alive. But we can always revive the Phoenix at any time. Don't get a double hit, please. Okay. Um. Oof. Let's just play safe and heal up these three heroes. And of course, the Gargoyle should heal up a lot, hopefully. There you go. 48 times 2. The Gargoyle is back up to full health because of his ability. It's crazy. Alright, let's see what he does here. Going after the Scarecrow. Double hitting, okay, that hurts, obviously, but the Gargoyle should still be alive. And, of course, the robot placed some bombs there. So, actually, heal up the Gargoyle. Hopefully, the Phoenix can get revived here. 119 damage to both the Thunder Paws and the Champion right there. Took out a Scarecrow. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's going to just hit the Frog Mystic towards the, the Arena object, burning the Gargoyle as well. Nicely done. Um, we should take out his Thunder Paws for sure. Yep, there you go. Alright, Thunder Paws is dead. Four against two. Um, we should be okay, I think. Let's see what he does here. Just going to hit the robot, it seems like. No, he's going to hit the gargoyle and then the robot. Ah, okay, that hurts. That hurts, that hurts. The ability's gonna go off now. Ouch. Ouchie, 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 indeed. Okay, this sucks. This sucks, this sucks, this sucks. We can hit the Wraith and the Champion here. Healing up the Frog Mystic a bit. 
Ooh. Okay. We might be able to survive this because he is a pretty... Uh, we made my positioning a little bit awkward for him to multi-hit the Frog Mystic. Yeah, look at this. The Frog Mystic is still alive, ladies and gentlemen. Plus, we can take out the Wraith with a double hit, I believe. If we need more hits, the Frog Mystic should be able to take to take him out right here pretty easily. Because the Frog Mystic's speed is not that bad. One, two, three. Perfect. We were able to win that one. Hey, we are actually doing okay against... Uh, you know, the meta decks right now. And it's all because, you know, the strongest heroes got nerfed. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You know, with the gargoyles being able to heal up and do a little bit of damage per collision. Perfect. Frog Mystic can heal up more per bug. For those who don't know, it's 45 now per bug instead of 38. Look at that. A little bit of damage right there in the first turn. We'll all take it. Phoenix, can Phoenix now... Deals 85 damage instead of 80, and of course, reviving for 119 instead of 111. Robot now deals more damage, and of course, his bomb deals more damage. This was a pretty nice change, in my opinion. This was a pretty great change. No Thunder Paws here. I'm actually a little bit surprised about that. Um, let's see if we can double hit the Scarecrow here. Right here. Yeah, a little bit of burn damage as well, and healing up the Phoenix. Perfect. Hey, I'm actually pretty happy with the place that we're doing here. Now he's going to double hit the Gargoyle, I believe. No, he's going to hit the Gargoyle and Frog Mystic once and the Robot. Okay, nicely done. Um, Don't think we're going to be able to <laughs> heal up. Actually, we could heal up the Gargoyle here. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, that should be near enough to the Cannonmancer. Perfect. 48 heals. We'll take as much heals as possible just to keep the Gargoyle alive. Is of course going to play around with the Scarecrow. That might actually take out the Gargoyle. Yep, Gargoyle is sadly dead. So now we can only heal up with the Frog Mystic's bugs. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to win this one. But we're going to try our best. Anyway, let's just double hit the Jawsome here. And sadly no one was near the bugs to deal damage. But hey, the Jawsome did take... Quite a, bit, uh, quite a bit of damage right there. He's going to hit the robot. Okay, so he's going to spawn some bombs there. That's fine with me, honestly. With the Phoenix going next, let's hit the Jawsome towards the fire, I guess. Cannonmaster will get burnt as well. Ooh, ooh, is the Jawsome dead? No, the Jawsome is still alive. What? Jawsome is alive with how much health? Only six? No way that, sh no way that will cost me the game. I don't think it will. Okay, we're still alive. We're still alive. Still alive. Still alive. We can heal up the robot. Okay, we at least we can heal up the robot here. Um. Yeah, we can do this. Heal up the robot. Hit the Catamancer. Oh, no. We failed to hit the Catamancer, but we did burn the Jossum, so now the Jossum is dead. Um, Frog Mystic can survive one cat hit, but not two. Robot is... Oof, robot is dead for sure. Um, we gotta heal up somehow. The bugs are up there. Okay, not happy with the bug placements, honestly. Let's just do this. Hopefully we can heal up. Hey, not bad. We were actually able to heal up both of them. Frog Mystic twice, I believe. But I think now that's going to be game. Yeah, that's game. We're not going to be able to win this one. It was a good attempt. It was a good attempt. We got four wins. We got four wins with a non-mana deck. And everybody is still, you know, everybody is still using a, the, the pretty strong heroes that got nerfed. But you can easily tell that it's, they're not winning as easily as it was before. So, honestly, a pretty good balance update overall. Um... Sally, a kind of a short run, but I'm pretty happy that we got, you know, four wins overall. And uh, with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me claim this reward real quick. Hope we can get something good. Berserkers, I am trying to go for the Berserkers right there. Um, just to max them out, of course. Hey, we'll get some Wizard as well. I think the Wizard is going to be the next to be maxed out when it comes to rares, maybe. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. The tree can be <laughs> upgraded to level 25. That's crazy. Um, 
But yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. What do you guys think about this balance update for me? Um, you can easily tell that it's, it was a pretty good change. I was able to compete most of the time with meta decks right there. But of course, most of them are still stronger than this deck, obviously. And uh, it was pretty difficult to, you know, to overcome them. But we still managed to pull up a pretty decent fight to get four wins. Um, very good balance update for these four heroes. It was, it was, it was very good. I'm very happy with the balance update that they got. Um, if you guys have any recommendations that you want to see, just throw down in the comments below and I'll certainly do it for you guys. I do have a lot of suggestions that you guys recommended me. So please be patient with me. I'll get to your suggestions um, sometime in the future. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video and thanks again for your continued support. I will see you in the next one. Take care.